But let's also tell you the other priority is keeping an eye on commodities and also input prices. And the recent downturn in commodity cycles seems to have helped FMCG companies and even manufacturing. Krishna Kumar reports on how companies are actually heaving a sigh of relief and hoping this will improve margins. With every fall comes a rise. Commodity prices have taken a tumble. Crude oil prices are down 13% in the past three months, while base metals have slipped between 5-6% to over the last month as well. The meltdown has given hopes to India Inc, which has been under margin pressure for a while. Companies are now heaving a sigh of relief as their input costs are said to be much lower. Raw material costs are under control. Petroleum prices are coming down. That will lead to lower packaging costs, fuel costs, etc. So I see the FMCG sector doing well. Not just FMCG, other sectors too have an opportunity to make the most of this downfall. Auto companies which have had a terrible time last year due to falling demand now find themselves in a better position. The commodity cycle will ease a little bit and uh, interest rates will also come down maybe towards the end of the year. Those will also be positive for the automobile sector. Coupled with a softening of interest rates, automakers are now rubbing their hands in glee as they look forward to higher operating margins. Our endeavour will be to now work towards improving our margins on the EBITDA side to a double digit. Now how soon can we achieve it is difficult to say but the ultimate intention is to come back, bounce back to a double digit EBITDA margin. Lower input prices may give a cushion for companies on the margin front but the crash in commodity prices is also an indication of a demand slowdown and that may not be something to savour for corporate India. Krishna Kumar, ET Now, Mumbai. Still ahead on uh, business tonight, uh, we get you some exciting options for the weekend. It's Friday.